The suspect in a dramatic case of kidnapping and extortion is locked up tonight, accused of holding a couple of kids for ransom and trying to force the kid's mom to rob a bank. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez reports. I looked across the street and I saw a big puff of smoke coming from that front door and I saw three or four uh, SWAT. Tense moments for neighbors, but nothing compared to what was going on inside this home for two kids, eight and 13 years old. I saw two of the SWAT guys carry out the two small children and, and handed them off. On Friday, police and SWAT swarmed this home in Northeast Albuquerque after someone called saying a man was holding the kids for ransom. Police say it was this man, James Michael McDaniel. They say he first attacked the mom inside their home, then ordered her to demand cash from the bank where she works. According to the criminal complaint, the mother of the two children walked in hysterical, yelling, quote, they are going to kill my children. She implied if police were called, her children would die, but workers called anyway. Neighbor James King watched as police rescued the kids. What I could see, they were fairly expressionless, like, you know, maybe scared, scared. James Michael McDaniel. McDaniel was arrested, appearing in court this morning, charged with kidnapping, child abuse, and extortion. Neighbors still worry about what could have happened. It scared me to death. Uh, I can't imagine what was going through that lady's mind all the time this was going on because, uh, you know, my children are pretty precious, and, and I'm sure everybody's are. Now, it turns out McDaniel was the mother's living boyfriend. She told police he'd only been staying with her for about a week, but she says she did not know it was him because he was wearing a mask. McDaniel also insisted the kid's mom had no involvement, claiming he concocted the plan because he needed money and could not find a job. He is the only person charged in the case so far. Crystal Gutierrez, KRQE News 13. Well, court background investigators revealed a violent criminal past for McDaniel, including two convictions for battery on a peace officer. 